Hello, my name is Lita, and today I'm going to show you two methods to use for coffee splatter art. Warning, do not handle coffee that is freshly brewed. Make sure it sits for at least 10 minutes with the coffee pot off when getting ready to produce art. This is meant to be a relaxing project, and happy accidents definitely apply to this project. The materials needed include coffee filter, coffee grounds, and a scoop, as well as water, a coffee pot, markers or pens, cardboard, cardstock or sketch paper, I would recommend smooth surface, acid-free paper. This project does have an option for printer paper, but uh, with printer paper, it is likely to tear or uh, to curl inwards, as well as a paintbrush. Some op optional materials, depending on what project you want to make, could include a ruler, decorative scissors, hole punches, and ribbons. Firstly, brew a cup of coffee using your favorite brew. Part of the, of the pigmentation depends on the roast blend and how many scoops of grounds are used and how much water is used. For today, I'm going to brew a little more than two and a half cups based on the lines printed on the pot. Coffee takes roughly about five minutes to brew. After coffee is brewed, shut off the, the switch uh, indicated by the light and unplug the system. Then pour some coffee into your favorite mug, not pouring in every drop. Be sure to save at most half of a, a cup of coffee, but this depends on the size of the project and what method you want to use. And so, this is a coffee break. Enjoy your coffee uh, that you poured yourself while the coffee in the pot and the filter cools for around 15 minutes in order to handle it later. Uh, while waiting and drinking coffee, prepare the paper you want to use, cutting it to the size and laying out the cardboard and getting out markers and a well-cleaned paintbrush. And so method one involves, involves drawing some simple shapes. In this case, I'm going to draw some little kitties for a mini card. To do this method, make sure a marker has dried once you have drawn, then dip the paintbrush in the, to the leftover coffee and either draw shapes that method, running your fingers along the brush or casting the brush down towards the piece. There's always then the option to add more colors, but make sure to wait for a minute or dab it with a paper towel to increase the drying speed, as well as creating some texture. Method two. two. Method two involves uh, taking out the coffee filter. Using a pinching method, make sure it is cool to make sure it is cool to the touch before ha handling it and dabbing it on the paper. In this case, I am making a bookmark. The saturation of the coffee shade depends on how hard you press, and often um, and how often you go back over. After it dries, I'm going to draw a giraffe and choose uh, to use the coffee as the pigment of the giraffe. Ta-da! You did great. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care.